Four new hero skins and a new Egypt-themed scenery are here for the Egypt-themed month. Here's a breakdown of all of them and all the info you need to know. The Egypt Warden is going to be our Gold Pass skin for this month, obviously coming out on April 1st. And before buying the Gold Pass, we gotta make sure that we put in code SETH to help support the channel. As always, the Gold Pass costs $6.99 and you'll get the skin along with all the other perks. The Egypt Warden is a really interesting skin. He appears to be a mummy, which is a little bit creepy, but not too creepy, which I'm happy about. He looks like a deceased pharaoh. He's got the typical ancient Egypt clothing on. His snake staff reminds me of Jafar from Aladdin. In the place of his book, the warden has that symbol in his left hand, which is actually the Egyptian symbol of life. And it makes a lot of sense for the warden because that's literally his mechanics. He gives life and healing to all the troops. This design is really solid, and I like the unique way they went about this. It's not just a basic Egypt skin. They went with the mummy theme, which is actually pretty cool. Because he's a gold pass skin, he doesn't have a ton of visual effects, but there is a ring of sand that appears on the ground when you do his pose animation. You also see some sand around him during his selection animation, which only lasts for a little while, and it's really faint. His attack is a beam of energy that shoots out of the snake staff's eyes. There's also a custom sound effect, which we've never heard on any other skin before. There are a few sound effects, like the deployment sound effect, which sound really similar to some previous skins. I really don't mind it that much, but his attacking has two parts to it. You can hear the warden yelling and the snake staff making some noise. All these skins have a unique knockout sound effect and I'm a big fan of all of them. I really like how the little cross with the circle on top sort of comes to life after he gets knocked out, and it kind of looks like it's trying to stand up or something. Here's the Egypt Warden's resting animation set the ground, and his air resting animation. Really solid gold pass skin, and if you like this design, you're gonna get some really solid value from buying this. Remember to put code Seth in before we buy the Egypt scenery, and here's what it looks like. The Egypt scenery is coming out on April 3rd, and it's gonna cost $6.99, just as we've expected from sceneries in the past. The first word that came to mind when I saw this scenery was cheery. It's bright, it's sunny, it's lush, there's lots of green. I love the color scheme of this. It's very vibrant. The gold, blue, green, and white all look really nice together. There's a lot going on in this scenery, and I've argued in the past that sceneries have dead space, but I'm really satisfied with the amount that this scenery has going on. This is definitely one of my favorite sceneries. There are tons of bananas everywhere. You'll see bananas hidden in these symbols on pillars. Here's another banana there. And there's a ton of bananas in these crates down here. This scenery has so many custom features. A custom forge, custom airship. This is the second scenery where we've gotten completely custom forge and airship. And these are my favorite so far. Of course, we've got a custom boat. It looks like an Egyptian style boat, but it's magically floating in the air. Of course, it has custom tiles and custom music. There's no parallax effect, at least not that I noticed, but to me it doesn't really matter that much and I doubt most people care. Right as you open the scenery, a portal will appear in the bottom left and a giant walks out carrying something on his back. And if you follow the giant all the way through his journey, he walks all the way up this ramp, another portal appears and it seems to teleport him to the top left where he walks around another ramp. He then walks behind the village and from there we don't really know where he goes, but it might be safe to assume that he just teleports back to the beginning and starts all over again. You'll see another one also teleport out of the bottom left and he drags a cart up and under the village. All of these animations of the giants are on a three minute loop so you'll see these giants coming out every three minutes. One of my favorite features of this scenery is this portal in the top right. This is also on a three minute loop and you'll see a beam of light come out of this pyramid in the top right, shoot through the portal and something new appears every 30 seconds or so. It goes through the same cycle. The first thing you'll see is Shelly from from Brawl Stars peeking out, looking around for a minute, and then going right back in. Next, you'll see Larry come out on a hoverboard, look around for a little bit, and then turn around and go straight back in. Then, <laughs> this is my favorite one, a bunch of bananas will just start being thrown out of the portal and bouncing all around. Then you'll see some tentacles come out of the portal. I don't know exactly where these would be from. The first thing that comes to mind is the pirate scenery with all those tentacles wrapped around things in the top right. I can't think of any other Supercell games that have a character with tentacles. Let me know 
know what you think it is in a comment. After that, a dragon will stick its nose out and breathe a little bit. Next, a goblin sticks his hand out and wags his finger telling you to come into the portal, I guess. Then it'll loop and Shelly will peek her head out again. Overall, this is an excellent scenery. Like I said before, one of my all time favorite sceneries. All right, just making sure we got Code Seth in before buying the Egypt King. The Egypt King is coming out on April 7th. He's gonna be a legendary skin costing $9.99. The Egypt King is my second favorite skin. This one has a really solid selection animation. The sand comes up around him, which looks amazing. I love this effect that they added to the skins. He seems to have a beetle theme to him. There's a beetle on his belt and on his arm. And there's probably a lot of things that are flying over my head with all these cosmetics because I'm by no means an expert on Egyptian culture or ancient Egyptian culture. His pose animation is pretty simple. He holds out his kopesh. Yes, that's what that sword is called. I just learned that today. And there's also a ring of sand that appears around him, just like the warden, except this one's quite a bit bigger. They all have these sand visual effects whenever they walk around. I didn't mention that on the warden, but they stuck with the typical barbarian king colors on this one. The red and gold look really solid. I don't really know what exactly this guy would be in Egypt or ancient Egypt. On the loading screen, it's also kind of hard to tell. It doesn't give much context. He's got a lot of custom sound effects. Some of them may be reused from other skins. As I said, I don't really mind so much. Of course, he's not gonna spawn custom barbarians. I made a video explaining why that won't be the case in legendary skins, at least for now. It doesn't sound like he has a custom attacking. It might be slightly custom, but it sounds a lot like the old Barbarian King sound effect. He also has a custom knockout sound effect and animation. It kind of looks like he's staggering, trying to keep his balance. This is the Barbarian King's resting animation. I think this is a really solid skin. Again, my second favorite. I think it's really good value for a legendary skin. Yep, yep, still got Code Seth in. We're getting the Egypt Champion on April 14th. She's gonna be legendary, of course, costing $9.99. This one is a really cool skin. I like the color theme. She reminds me a lot of the gladiator champion, blue, white, and gold. The king had a beetle theme and she seems to have a snake theme. She's got a snake as part of her crown and a snake pet. According to the loading screen, it kind of looks like she's the pharaoh or whatever the ruler would be. I really like how she snaps and calls her snake to her, which also brings her spear in its tail. This one is my third favorite skin, although it is super close between all of them. I like them all and there's not a huge difference between them. Her pose is really funny. She obviously really likes her pet snake and is not afraid to get right up in its face, which I definitely would not do. She's also got a ring of sand around her, smaller than the king. It looks about the same size as the warden. She also has the sand walking visual effect. She has a deployment sound effect and an interesting walking animation. She's kind of bent backwards a little bit. Kind of looks like how royalty would walk, I guess. Her spear looks really cool when she throws it. It gets huge compared to the one that she's holding in her hand. And then you probably guessed that her snake is what she throws for her ability. It coils up and hits all the buildings. When she gets knocked out, her snake understandably is also knocked out. After hitting all those buildings, I would too. For a legendary champion skin, this one has a decent amount of value. I wouldn't say it's above average, but you're definitely going to be getting your money's worth compared to some other royal champion skins. The champion's resting animation is pretty simple. She's laying on her side and her snake is coiled up next to her bobbing its head. Yep, you already know. Now we can buy the Egypt Queen who's gonna be releasing on April 21st as a legendary skin costing $9.99. I love the design of this one. This is definitely my favorite skin and that sand rising up looks really cool, especially when you spin her around. The King looks a little bit cooler because his sand lingers longer, but you get the idea. The Queen has an eagle theme. So the Warden was a mummy, the King was beetle themed, the champion is snake themed, and the queen is eagle themed. The gold and green look perfect for the queen. This one is pretty much the same value as all the other skins. The circle of sand around her for that pose is a little bit fainter, but she's got a custom sound effect for that pose and 100% custom animations. Of course, with that custom sand walking visual effect, she also shoots green arrows. No custom archers. Again, we're not going to be getting custom troops for quite a while until they figure out how to fix that. She does have a slight custom attacking sound effect, which is really nice. She looks like a warrior. Again, I don't know exactly what you would call her in ancient Egypt, but she's definitely a warrior and archer of some kind. Also, here is the queen's resting animation. The scenery is definitely an S tier scenery and all the skins I'm going to put at the top of the A tier.
tier, I don't think they quite make it into the S tier. Comment below what you think about these skins and the scenery.